2.5 iterated deletion procedures. If in a game a player has a weekly or strictly dominant strategy, then the player ought to choose that strategy. In the case of strict dominance, choosing any other strategy guarantees that the player will do worse, and in the case of weak dominance, no other strategy can give a better outcome, no matter what the other players do. Unfortunately, games that have a dominant strategy equilibrium are not very common. What should a player do when she does not have a dominant strategy? Well, we shall consider uh, two iterative deletion procedures that can help solve some games. 2.5.1 IDSDS The Iterated Deletion of Strictly Dominated Strategies IDSDS is the following procedure or algorithm. Given a finite ordinal strategic form game, capital G, let capital G Super 1 be the game obtained by removing capital G for every player I whose those strategies of player I, if any, that are strictly dominated by capital G by some other strategy. Let capital G Super 2 be the game obtained by removing capital G Super 1 for every player I. Those strategies of player I, if any, that are strictly dominated by capital G Super 1 by some other strategy and so on. Let capital G super infinity be the output of this procedure. Since the initial gain is capital G is finite, capital G super infinity will be obtained in a finite number of steps. Figure 2.12 illustrates uh, this procedure. If capital G super infinity contains a single strategy profile, this is not the case in the example of figure 2.12 when we call then we call that strategy profile the iterated strictly dominant strategy equilibrium if g super infinity contains two or more strategy profiles then we refer to those strategy profiles merely as the output of the idsds procedure for example in the game of figure 2.12, the output of the IDSDS procedure is the set of strategy profiles, the set with four ordered pairs, capital A, comma E, capital A, comma F, capital B, comma E, capital B, comma F. What is the significance of the output of the IDSDS procedure? Consider game capital G of figure 2.12. Since for player 2, H is strictly dominated by G, if player 2 is rational, she will not play H. Thus, if player 1 believes that a player 2 is rational, then he believes that a player 2 will not play H. That is, he restricts attention to game G super 1, since in G super 1, capital D, since, cap since in capital G super 1, capital D is strictly dominated by capital C for player 1. If player 1 is rational, he will not play capital D. It follows that if player 2 believes that player 1 is ras rational and that player 1 believes that player 2 is rational, then player 2 restricts attention to game capital G super 2, where rationality requires that player 2 not play G, etc. It will be shown in a later chapter that if there is common knowledge of rationality, then only strategy profiles that survive the IDSDS procedure can be played. The converse is also true. Any strategy that survives the IDS as IDSDS procedure is compatible with common knowledge of rationality. In the top right, top left grid, we have player one rows with strategy capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D uh, intersecting player two with strategies E, F, G, H. The strategies from top left to bottom right 
are 6 comma 3, 4 comma 4, 4 comma 1, 3 comma 0, 5 comma 4, 6 comma 3, uh, 0 comma 2, 5 comma 1, 5 comma 0, 3 comma 2, 6 comma 1, 4 comma 0, 2 comma 0, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 3, 6 comma 1. Delete H, which is dominated by G. In the previous graph, that was capital G equals capital G super zero. Then we move to delete H dominated by G. Then we have a 4 by 3 grid instead of a 4 by 4 grid that was above because we deleted H, which was dominated by G. Now we have player 1, capital player 1's rows are capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D. <coughs> we have player 2's columns as E, F, G. <coughs> Starting with the top left, moving right, and then eventually moving down to the bottom right, we have 6, 3, 4, 4, 4, 1, 5, 4, 6, 3, 0, 2, 5 comma 0, 3 comma 2, 6 comma 1, <coughs> 2 comma 0, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 3. That is G super 1. We delete capital D, which is dominated by capital C. Then we get... <coughs> A three by three graph with, with player one has strategies capital A, capital B, capital C, and player two has strategies E, F, G moving in the same fashion. <clears throat> we have six three, six comma three, four comma four, four comma one, then five comma four, six comma three, zero comma two, five comma zero, three comma two. And six comma one is capital G super two. We delete G dominated by F. Then we have a three by two grid where player one has capital A, capital B, capital C, player two has E and F, which is capital G super three. <coughs> <laughs> Six comma three, four comma four, uh, five comma four, six comma three, <coughs> five comma zero, three comma two. We delete <coughs> capital C dominated by capital A, and we have a two by two grid where player one has. Capital A, capital B, player 2 has lowercase e, lowercase f. <clears throat> and, the out, and the outcomes are 6, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 3. Which is G super 4 equals G super infinity. Figure 2.12, an example of the IDSDS procedure. Orange circle R in finite games, the order in which strictly dominated strategies are deleted is irrelevant. In the sense that any <coughs> water, in the sense that any sequence of deletions of strictly dominated strategies lead to the same output. <coughs> 